Welcome to this GCSE Science tutorial video on atoms, elements and compounds. All substances are made of atoms. Simply defined, an atom is a tiny particle that makes up everything living, non-living and man-made. This definition is just a simple basic key stage 3 definition. This definition works as a nice introduction, however the definition you need to know for your exams is that an atom is the smallest particle of an element. Make sure you memorise this definition, learn it. So what then is the definition of an element? Well, an element is a substance made up of only one type of atom. This means that an element contains atoms that have the same number of protons in the nucleus. For example, the element hydrogen is only made up of hydrogen atoms that each contain one proton. For more on this type of thing, watch the video on the structure of atoms. Appearing on the screen now are four different particle diagrams. Can you point out which particle diagrams contain elements? Make sure you use the definition of an element to help you. Pause the video now and take a look. OK, so we can see we have elements here, here, and also here. Notice that there is only one type of atom represented by one colour. This second particle diagram here does not show an element. This is because we can see there are two different types of atom present. The red atom and the slightly sort of peachy coloured smaller one. There are about 100 different elements that exist in the universe and they are arranged in the periodic table seen here. Each element in the periodic table has a symbol. Potassium is K, whereas mercury is HG and hydrogen is simply H. For GCSE, you have to be familiar with the symbols of elements 1 to 20. Uh, that is from hydrogen at number 1 down to calcium at number 20. We will now take a closer look at compounds. Compounds are formed from elements during chemical reactions. A compound is a substance made up of two or more different types of atom chemically bonded. You could also say two or more elements chemically bonded. Because remember elements are made up of one type of atom only. Also the elements that make up compounds are present in fixed proportions. Appearing on your screen now are three particle diagrams representing different compounds. On the left hand side of the screen we have the compound iron sulphide. There is one iron atom here and one sulphur atom here. So there is one iron atom for every sulphur atom. A one to one ratio, a fixed proportion. The compound in the middle of your screen here is ammonia. And there is one nitrogen atom here bonded to three hydrogen atoms. That means there is one nitrogen atom for every three hydrogen atoms, a one to three ratio. And our last example of a compound here is water. There are two hydrogen atoms bonded to one oxygen atom, a two to one ratio. As for the chemical formulae of these compounds, iron sulphide has the chemical formula FES because there is one iron and one sulphur atom, ammonia, NH3, one nitrogen and three hydrogen atoms, and lastly water, H2O, because there's two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. It is now time for a quick progress check to see if you can distinguish between an element and a compound. Okay, so pause the video then and note down your answers, and for a bit of a bonus, can you suggest a name for any of the elements or compounds in the different diagrams. Okay, welcome back. So starting off then with particle diagram A, it is neither an element or a compound. A is in fact a mixture. There is a whole um, another video dedicated to a mixtures, so be sure to watch that. You also need to be able to suggest what the different substances in these particle diagrams may be. Notice the yellow um, particles there, or the yellow atoms, they exist as single atoms. Therefore, substances that exist as single atoms will be something like the noble gases, for example, neon. Hopefully you recognise the compound with the red atom, that would be ammonia from the previous page, that 1 to 3 ratio of nitrogen to hydrogen. And this green compound here, two atoms, similar size, 
could be something like carbon monoxide. Now on to B, which is a compound. And again, we could say this is something like ammonia NH3. You're not really going to come across any other compounds that have this same ratio at GCSE. C is a mixture again, so it's neither an element nor a compound. We have uh, the blue atoms in there representing an element as single atoms. Again, this is most likely to be a noble gas. We could say argon in this case, but it could be any of them. And the green and light green compound again, again, it's our carbon monoxide gas. Substance D is a compound. And again, we've got this, the blue to orange atoms, this one to two ratio. So this is most likely to be something like water, uh, H2O. Now we go on to substance E. Again, it's our uh, compound, two different types of atoms chemically joined here. And again, most likely to be carbon monoxide. Again, there are, there are other compounds this could be, but in terms of what you'll see at GCSE, that's the most likely. And now F, we can see F is our noble gases again, so therefore it's an element. Now on to G. G is obviously an element, one type of atom. But there are two atoms here bonded as a molecule. Uh, so this could be a number of different molecules, such as a chlorine molecule, an oxygen molecule, or a fluorine molecule. Um, it could have also been, I suppose, iodine, um, hydrogen, nitrogen um, as well. Last of all, we have H, and H is a compound. It is a slightly larger compound than the others with three different types of atom present. A compound like this could be a metal carbonate. For example, calcium carbonate, CaCO3, or magnesium carbonate, MgCO3. With the big grey atom here representing the metal atom. Okay, so that's the end of our video on atoms, elements and compounds. Thank you once again for choosing Genius Science. And remember to work hard, be kind, and we'll see you in the next video.